spirituality was not always easily accessible. In the past, it was reserved for the mystics, monks, and ascetics of the world, and accessing teachings often required arduous journeys, challenging initiations, or even a specific bloodline. Today, we are just a podcast or library visit away from gaining more wisdom and reducing ignorance. Consequently, it's no surprise that the number of Americans identifying as spiritual but not religious has been steadily increasing. Whether you lean towards Buddhism, practice Kundalini, or prefer to remain undefined, spiritual principles generally advocate for more love, peace, compassion, and healing. This is undoubtedly a positive development. However, the rise of spirituality in the United States is occurring within a primarily materialistic society. Spiritual materialism is a term that came to prominence when Buddhist teacher Chajyam Trungpa published Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism in 1973. Trungpa defines spiritual materialism as a phenomenon in which individuals mistakenly believe they are progressing spiritually when, in reality, they are reinforcing their ego. In simpler terms, spiritual materialism occurs when we engage in what appears to be spiritual practices, but inadvertently feed our ego. It's a slippery concept that even the most seasoned spiritual practitioners may encounter. Therefore, understanding its various forms is crucial for avoiding or minimizing its effects. The first layer of spiritual materialism involves seeking physical comforts, such as crystals, prayer beads, or tarot cards, with the misguided belief that they can provide safety and comfort. While these objects may have value, they do not inherently make us spiritual. The second layer of spiritual materialism occurs on an intellectual level, where we rely on ideologies, beliefs, and concepts to navigate life more comfortably. These mental constructs can sometimes shield us from facing the challenges and uncertainties that are valuable for personal growth. The final layer of spiritual materialism arises when we use spiritual and psychological practices to maintain our self-consciousness and sense of self. This includes activities like meditation, yoga, or psychotherapy, which, if misused, can hinder genuine spiritual growth. To move away from spiritual materialism, it's essential to avoid hoarding spiritual objects, be mindful of rigid thinking, maintain an authentic relationship with spiritual teachers, refrain from oversharing about your spiritual journey, and stay present at the moment, instead of obsessing about the future. Ultimately, the core message of spiritual materialism is that the essence of spirituality lies in realizing one's true nature, and there are diverse paths to this realization.